Hello everyone, it is Steven here today, or Super Bruce 91 and today I'm playing some Domination on the map Downhill. This is one of the four brand new DLC maps coming to the PlayStation 3, I believe on February 28th. So I'm using also the new DLC gun, the Peacekeeper SMG. Not too big of the, I'm not a big fan of this gun, but I'm just deciding to use it just to kind of showcase this gun and how it plays. So today I'm doing the review for Downhill. So this is definitely my least favorite map of the DLC. I generally don't like snow maps in any Call of Duty games, and this game is no exception. The reason why I really don't like this map is I feel that the map is very unbalanced. I mean. Of course, just like all maps, there's mainly three routes down this map's um, main layout. I mean, there's two side routes and there's one middle route. What I don't like about this map is it's uneven, I think. There's two side paths. One side path is very direct, it's very narrow, and it's a somewhat clear line of sight. And then there's this one, the Gauntlet Station. And there's just a lot of cover on this side of the map. The most cover in the map, I would say, is on this side of the map. So if you like playing a more secure position, this side of the map is definitely the way to go. And then there's the center of the map. The center of the map is definitely for the sniper rifles because it's a huge broad area. There's very little cover in the center of it. So, I mean, if you're running down the middle of the map, there's going to be probably a sniper or two just kind of waiting for you. Also, what I don't like about this map is that it's, there's too many long lines of sight. I mean, they definitely dominate the game. There's mainly three windows, and they're kind of positioned throughout the center of the map. And these, all of those windows, people like to just sit in and just overlook the entire center of the map. And that, I feel, is just pr promoting people to just to kind of sit back and just wait for people to run around and so that they can pick them off. And I don't like that uh, play style at all. So you definitely try to want to stay out of the center of the map because you have to remember you guys on day one of the DLC launch for the PlayStation 3 there's going to be three game modes team deathmatch domination and mosh pit so the most played game mode is kind of a tie between domination and TDM so most people do play domination I would say for the Xbox and a lot of people go for the B flag which is what I like about objective plane domination. I like um, trying to cap the B flag and everything, but the layout of this map kind of contradicts to that because trying to go for the B flag on this map in particular, it's extremely difficult to go for because there's so many areas that you're vulnerable to. I mean, you're vulnerable to so many different angles at the B flag. It's just, I mean, most of the time it's going to get you killed just trying to cap it by yourself. So this map definitely does not work for domination in my opinion. So you definitely want to stay out of the middle of the map. You want to try sticking to one side of the map. Now if you want my suggestion, I would suggest staying to the gauntlet area of the map because the gauntlets um, provide you some cover and it's the most cover in the map and there's not a lot of cover in this map besides that one area. So that's what I, that's what I keep on going back to, the map's unbalanced. Um, that side of the map is really, it has a lot of cover, but the rest of the map has almost no cover. So, the map is definitely rather lopsided if you ask me. It just doesn't work properly. Then also, the map just doesn't play right. For Call of Duty, this map just kind of plays so, sort of slow, I think. The map is just kind of too broad, it's too wide open, I think. They need to start adding more cover into these maps. They need to stop making such broad areas like in the center of the map right here. I mean, let's take a look at that. There's no cover. There's a huge window that can overlook the entire middle portion of the map and lots of people just fight for that one part of the map and it's just, I mean, it's just a very camping type of map and I don't like it. Also, the spawn system on this map is nothing too good, so I would definitely be careful of the spawn system in this map because as you guys probably will see quite a few times, I'll be in their spawn, like they'll be spawning all in this one little area of the map, and they won't stop spawning there. I mean, I'll be killing like three or four of them, and they'll keep on spawning, and then I get killed because of it. This little area that I'm going into currently right now is a huge spawn point on the C flag, I think it is. Right there, to like my left, that's a huge spawn. 
and people will not stop spawning there so you have to be careful because I believe in the next half of the game you will see that I just keep on killing them on my B sets up and they keep on spawning there and it ends up getting me killed so you have to be careful with the spawns because they are very steadfast they don't like to change a whole lot so you always have to be mindful that they could still be spawning where you're at and I got fooled because of that and I died because of it I definitely would have to say you guys whenever you're in the gauntlet area where I am currently you have to be very cautious because this is probably one of the more high traffic spots of the map I mean maybe the middle of the map will be the most high traffic spot but many people try fighting that little center room with the window so whenever you're kind of rounding this corner be very mindful that there is most likely somebody trying to get up in that little gauntlet area so always be mindful of that now that's one thing I don't ever really here's the point that I was talking about they keep on spawning and look at the VSAT there's a bunch of red like dots lighting up on the map they continuously sp started spawning there and I'm like almost in their spawn so that's what I'm talking about you have to be so mindful of where they're spawning at because they don't stop spawning I mean it's just kind of out of control the spawns on this one map I feel that this map has the worst spawns of the DLC because I've never had an issue in a map where they just really won't stop spawning but this map just take a look at that they're still kinda spawning over there I mean you have to be very mindful of that particular spawn because that one spawn point in the map it just seems like it never changes and like I was saying you see that window spot that I was just at right there that's what I'm talking about people set their attention towards the windows so as much as it is a big vantage point to have on the map you have to be very aware that people are looking for you I mean it may look like a good spot to be in but very little cover is provided the material can be shot through so if like they have FMJ or even not FMJ you can still be killed easily through the wall as I w have been saying the middle of the map is very dangerous as I've been getting sniped quite a few times in this area of the map. So as you can see there's a huge line of sight right there. So unless you're a sniper yourself, avoid that strip completely. Don't run down that path because it's a huge line of sight for sniper rifles and LMGs and assault rifle users. So definitely stay away from that if you're an SMG type of player like I am. As you can see, snipers are still just kind of sticking around that center point of the map, so you have to be careful for that. So, if you're a player like me who likes getting up close and personal with the enemy, I always highly, strongly recommend that you stick to the edges of the map, try flanking, and staying out of the sniper's line of sight. Now, the building that's up there, um, it has a sniper vantage point, but you very rarely will see somebody using it so you really don't have to worry about that because even in the revolution dlc trailer they uh hinted upon that, that would be a big high traffic point in the map but the reality of it is it's not a problem at all most of the time you're not going to need to be checking that po point of the map because nobody really goes up there it I mean it's very odd it's a pretty good vantage point but nobody really goes up there as you can see i broke that rule again in this gameplay and i died for it I made that mistake like three times this gameplay and as you guys can see I died every single time so once again avoid that middle strip so I'm kind of going around to the enemy spawn right now there's a window in this building that is high traffic a lot of people like going into this little window area right there people love sitting up there you guys and overlooking the B flag in domination so be wary of that I mean as you can see trying to flank the enemy is definitely the best course of action for this map because many people snipe and if you just try taking them the direct route and you're using an SMG they're going to win almost every single time so always be mindful of that and unless you're a sniper stay away from the middle of the map just try flanking them who are just camping and I thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoy it, leave a like a comment and subscribe thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later